Hello guys, Telos Works 2.0 is here. All funding to the previous worker proposal system on Telos has ceased and all new worker proposals will now go through Works 2.0. In this video, we are going to walk through voting on proposals in the new Works 2.0 on Squirrel Wallet. Squirrel Wallet version 1.2.1 introduces Works 2.0 functionality. So if you are not on this version or a more recent version of Squirrel Wallet, you will need to upgrade. This can be done by visiting squirrelwallet.io and downloading the latest version for either Mac, Windows, or Linux. Now let's get on to walking through the process of voting on proposals in the new works 2.0 in Squirrel Wallet. Here I am in Squirrel Wallet version 1.2.1. First thing that we need to do is unlock the wallet by clicking unlock and inputting your password. Now with the wallet unlocked, let's head over to the proposals by visiting the governance tab and selecting proposals. Here you will see all the worker proposals in the system, not only the ones in progress. Here you can see one worker proposal in progress while another is in the drafting stage. By clicking this drop down, you can sort by all proposals, canceled proposals, completed proposals, draft proposals, expired proposals, failed proposals, in progress proposals, and proposals with milestones. Milestones is a new feature in Works 2.0 that is replacing cycles. Works 2.0 also introduces categories. And by clicking this drop down, you can sort by category. The categories include apps, development, education, and marketing. So if we click education, only the education proposals will show up. If we click development, only d the development proposals show up. To get more details and vote on a proposal, click the details button. Here you will see the category of the proposal, the number of milestones, the voting period, the status, total requested, total remaining, submission fee, total votes, and number of voters, as well as a link to the actual proposal document. And below this, you have your yes, no, and abstain buttons to place your vote, as well as a breakdown of the milestones, currently at milestone number one in the voting stage, a pie chart breakdown of current votes on this proposal, 75% voting abstain, 25% voting yes, and a breakdown of the actual voters with their account name, their vote, and their vote weight. To place your vote, simply click the direction you would like to vote, yes, no, or abstain, and confirm your vote. Voting yes for milestone one of the Works 2.0 Tutorials on Squirrel demo proposal. Once you vote on a proposal, you will see the direction you have voted underneath the title and description of the proposal. You will only see this cancel button for proposals you submit. The account I am using for this tutorial, Squirrel Tutorial, is the account that submitted this proposal, so I am seeing the cancel button. If you'd like to see the process of submitting a proposal on the new Works 2.0, in Squirrel Wallet, check out the link below. For proposals you have already voted on, you will see a green check mark if you voted yes, a red X if you voted no, and a yellow dash if you voted abstain. So there you have it, there's a breakdown of what the latest Squirrel Wallet release has to offer with the new Telos Works 2.0 system. If you have any questions or issues, head over to the Telos or Squirrel Wallet Telegram groups. That's it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one.